Hi friends, this is Yana here today, and today I've got a fun project. So, um, at Joanne's I found this really beautiful cable knit, and it was a thick, lush filling um, fabric, and I thought I would like something, a sweater that's super comfy and cozy, I wanted a chunky cowl or something cool like that, and then I thought, you know what, the oversized tee is one of my favorite patterns. What would the oversized tee look like with a cowl? So. What I did was I grabbed the oversized tee pattern and the going home raglan and I'm going to fuse them together to create a cowl on the oversized tee. So I'm super excited about it. Let's do it together. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is just like I said, cut this fabric into my oversized tee. Um, I love the regular length, so that's what I'm doing, and I'm going to use the crew neck neck band option. When I was cutting my sleeves, I did add an inch at the bottom because I'm not sure if I want to hem them or not. So that's why you saw that. But now I'm gonna do the cowl. Now, first of all, the cowl is folded this way. So the stretch is still going this way because the fold will be up here. And this right here is the main part of the cowl. So this is the neckline area. And this is what the cowl is that's gonna hang at your neck. Now, I don't want it to be that wide, but obviously I want the neckline to be as wide as it's supposed to be because I don't want it to be tied at my neck. So I'm gonna leave that the same and I'm gonna bring in the sides of the cowl. So it's more of a straight cowl. You see that, it's more straight than going out. So it'll just be like a straight cowl instead of being going, going out. Now you can shrink it down a little bit more, but I would make sure that you keep your neckline uh, the same because you don't want to make that too small and not be able to fit your neckline. And you're gonna cut two of these unfold. First thing we're gonna do is sew up the shoulder seams, right sides together. Next, I'm going to go ahead and attach my sleeves by opening that arm side and attaching there. If you're getting waviness here, um, turn it around and give it a good steam at the seam and that will help that waviness. I will do that. But let me show you how to attach the sleeves. I'll do that wavy steam uppy thingy in a minute so here's my sleeve we're attaching it right sides together that middle notch right there at the shoulder and then all the way down one side and then down the other and do that for both and then while i'm at it i'm going to grab my cowl neck which is now basically a straight neck and i'm going to place them both right sides together and sew those two raw edges on the both sides that's going to become my neck band Oh, broke a clip. I literally, I'm like running so low on clips. I'm gonna go sew that and attach the sleeves. All right, now we're gonna match those sides, right sides together and sew the side seams of our bodice. And I'm also going to go ahead and attach my cowl at the same time all right for the neckline we're going to grab our cowl now that it's sewn together and fold it wrong sides together and match up here the seams and from the seams we're going to go to the sides and mark our front and back so here's this is going to be our cowl I'm gonna grab my bodice and match my neck shoulder area go to the back then to the front then I'm gonna match the front and back and go to the sides and then I'm gonna fit this cowl in and those side seams will be my sides We're matching them right sides together, 
make matching all those quarter points. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and sew it on like I do a neckband. And let's cross our fingers, it works out. All right, friends, we are finished, and I just love how this turned out. I love how the cowl looks on the oversized tee. It's super comfy and super cute, and it was so quick. That's one of my favorite things to do, being able to make a project and get it done so quickly, and it turned out super cute. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please comment, like, share, subscribe if you haven't so you never miss any of our other tutorials, and let me know below if you're going to try it or if you've already tried it and what you think. Um, I also wanted to mention something else. If you, the oversized tee is not your favorite pattern, the fit of it or whatever, um, this cow can be used with other crew neck patterns. So if you want to grab another Ellie and Mike pattern that you love the fit of, that's maybe a little bit slimmer or the fit is just exactly what you like, and it has a crew neck, so a higher neckline, um, this cow should be able to fit into it. One way to make sure that it will fit into it is to grab your, um, neckband piece and measure it to the neckband of the cowl like I showed you where the neck area is if you measure that because that's twice that width and it fits into that then um, that w that means that it will fit that neckline you can either widen it out a little bit if you need to because the neckband might be a little bit wider or make it skinnier to fit the neckband um, but it should be able to work so Anyway, that's all I have for you today. I hope you have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you next time. Bye.